Abu Al Ali Al Hasan Ibn Al Hasan Ibn Al Haytham, who is known as Ibn Al Haytham or Al Hazin. He is a mathematician and astronomer Muslim scholar who contributes to the principle of optics and the use of scientific experiments, who has a wide knowledge in mathematics, medical, astronomy, philosophy, and physics. Al Hazin was born on 965 in Basra and died on 1040 in Cairo when he is 74 years old. Al Hazin was one of the earliest scientists that studied the characteristic of light and mechanism of vision, which gave him the title of father of modern optics, as his greatest work is optic. Ibn Haytham, known in the West as Al Hazen, he immigrated to Egypt, and during his time there, he took the opportunity to do some research on the flow of the Nile. Ibn Al Haytham was so convinced of the usefulness of his mathematical practice that he thought he could control the floods of Nile. When ordered to do so by Al Hakim B. Amrullah, the sixth caliph of the Fatimiyah Caliphate, he quickly realized that the task was impossible to do. So he retired from the field of engineering. Fearing his life was in danger, he pretended to be insane. As a result, he was placed under house arrest. During and after that, he concentrated on his scientific endeavors until his death. Ibn Al Haytham, or known as Al Hazin, was a prolific author. He wrote more than 200 works on a wide range of subjects, including physics, mathematics, engineering, astronomy, medicine, anatomy, visual perception, and ophthalmology. So, approximately half of his works have survived today. Among the most popular studies made by Ibn Al Haytham is on scientific method and physics and optics. On scientific method, Ibn Al Haytham developed rigorous experimental methods of control scientific testing in order to verify theoretical hypotheses and substantiate inductive conjectures. Ibn Al Haytham's scientific method was very similar to the modern scientific method and consisted of repeating cycle of observation, hypotheses, experimentation and the need for independent verification. Ibn Al Haytham's theory of light and vision is neither identical with nor directly descended from any one of the theories known to have previously existed in the antiquity or in Islam. The first real appreciation of the action of lens, in particular the ability of a convex form to produce a magnified image of an object, appears to be credited to Ibn Al Haytham. So he made a thorough examination of the passage of light through various media and discovered the laws of refraction. He also carried out the first experiments on the dispersion of light into its constituent colors. Ibn Al Haytham's seven-volume treatise on optics, Kitab Al Manazil, Book of Optics, which he wrote while incarcerated between 111 to 121. Which has been ranked alongside Isaac Newton's philosophy, Naturalist Principia Mathematica, as one of the most influential books ever written in physics, drastically transformed the understanding of light and vision. Al Hazen wrote more than 200 works on a wide range of subjects, of which at least 96 of his scientific works are known. 50 of them have survived to date, such as books of optics. Treatise on light, balance of wisdom, treatise on centers of gravity, treatise on the place, doubts concerning Ptolemy, on the configuration of the world, and the model of the motion of the seven planets. If learning the truth is the scientist's goal, then he must make himself the enemy of all that he reads.